While we are highly trained professionals dealing in complex mathematical procedure, we do encourage you to try this at home as it will hopefully enhance your mathematical understanding. So welcome back to One Less Than Three Math. This video explains an exam style question regarding Venn diagrams and the learning objective is to be able to use information to complete a Venn diagram and assign probabilities. So a survey was very suddenly carried out by Oliver Sudden in the local high street 60 people were asked if they play tennis, football or basketball. Some of the information that Oliver received is as follows. 27 people play tennis, 25 play football, 18 play basketball, 13 play both tennis and basketball, 2 play both football and basketball, 8 play only tennis and no people play tennis, football and basketball. So parte, everyone likes a good parte. Use the information to complete the Venn diagram. Part B Write down the probability that a randomly chosen person plays football and tennis. Part C, write down the probability that a randomly chosen person who plays tennis does not play basketball. And part D, Anonymous takes a similar survey by asking five people at her local tennis court. Write down two thing things wrong with this survey. So if you'd like to have a go at these questions, please pause the video now before I go through the explanations and solutions. So part A, we need to identify information that we can use to fill in this Venn diagram. I'm going to start with the fact that no people play tennis, football and basketball. So where the three circles for football, tennis and basketball overlap, there is nobody. Zero. Next up. 13 people play both tennis and basketball. So where the tennis and basketball circles overlap, I'm going to put 13. Then we have two people who play football and basketball. They go where the football and basketball circles overlap. Then we have eight people who play only tennis. So they go in the tennis circle where it doesn't overlap. And then we can work out how many people play football and tennis because we have the total of 27 people who play tennis. So we can subtract 8 and 13 and 0. And that gives us 6 people remaining. So they must play tennis and football. Now for football, we know that 25 people play football. So we can do 25 take away 0, 6 and 2. And that gives us 17. So 17 play just football. Same thing with basketball. We have 18 people who play basketball so we'll take away 2 and 13 and that gives us three people who play just basketball. Now finally with the Venn diagram the question tells us that we have 60 people so we need to check that these numbers add up to 60 and actually they don't. So there's a number of people who don't play football, don't play tennis and don't play basketball. So what we can do is we can do 60 take away 3, 2, 13, 17, 6 and 8. So that's 60 take away 49 and that leaves 11 people who don't play any of the three sports. So that's a complete Venn diagram. We'll move on to part B now and we are writing down the probability that a randomly chosen person, so there were 60 people, this randomly chosen person plays both football and tennis. Now there are 6 people who play both football and tennis. So that's 6 out of 60. Now we need to simplify this. So that becomes 1 over 10 by di dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 6. Now 1 tenth can be written as 0 0.1 or 10% as well. Personally, I prefer writing probabilities as fractions where possible. Part C, write down the probability that a randomly chosen person who plays tennis does not play basketball. Now that's important that it says it's a person who plays tennis that has been randomly chosen. How many people play tennis? Well it's 27 and how many of them don't play basketball? So there's six and eight, six who play football and tennis and, six, and eight people who just play tennis. So six out of eight is 14 and it's 14 over 27 and that can't be simplified. So that would be our solution and it's difficult to write as a decimal or a percentage too so Writing as a fraction is a suitable answer. Part D, Anne Anonymous takes a similar survey. She asks five people at her local tennis court. Write down two things wrong with this survey. Well, first of all, five is not a big enough sample of people. Usually, 
to take a good sample, it would be 50 or more. Now, the second thing that's wrong with asking people at the tennis court is that it could quite possibly give unreliable data because usually the people who are at the tennis court will be playing tennis. So it's better to ask people maybe like Oliver Sudden did in the local high street randomly and obviously taking a bigger sample of 50 or 60 or 100 people. The bigger the sample, the more accurate the data. So I hope that's been a useful video on Venn diagrams. Hasta la pizza, how are you So long, goodbye, ciao for now, see you next time, au revoir, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.